What's up everybody? This is Joshua Casser. Welcome to another Ableton Live video tutorial. Today it's going to be on making a DJ EQ effects rack for your DJ sets. Um, I did an earlier tutorial about this, but this one's far better, far more advanced. Um, and I suggest you follow along, even if you've already done the first one. Uh, if you want to skip the tutorial, there's a link to my blog where you can download the uh, effects rack you know, free. But anyway, also on my blog, there's a link to download a small construction pack. I'm going to be putting these up there um, from time to time. But the first one was up. It's called Brazil. It's 125 BPM. It's an A minor. Go ahead and download that from Mediafire. And once you've downloaded that, uh, find the folder and find the loops. And go ahead and select the base. And then hold Shift to select all the way, all four of them and then drag this over to that first audio track and I want to separate those out into four different audio tracks so I hit the control button and you can see how it does that and I let go and boom uh, let's go ahead and have a listen to what uh, you know the music is so that's not a lot but uh, it's funky it's kind of groovy it's kind of dutchy and uh, it's free so go ahead and get it anyway uh, let's go ahead and make the effects rack, and I'm just going to make it on the master channel, but obviously once you've made it and saved it, you can put it on each audio channel. It depends on you know what you're looking to do and what your setup is. But uh, first things first, let's go ahead and come over here to audio effects and get the audio effects rack, drop it in there, and then let's find the effects we're going to be using. So first thing, come to the utility, drop that in there, three band EQ next, drag that behind the utility. Um, let's put a flanger on there. Find that flanger. Where is that flanger? Here we go. Next, um, beat repeat. Put that on there. And then uh, auto filter. We'll put that on there. And then finally, let's go ahead and put on fade to gray. The fade to gray is an audio effects Racks, presets, performance in DJ, and it's under F, fade to gray, really cool effect. In an earlier tutorial, I showed you how to make this uh, and make it a different way and stuff. So check that out if you want. Um, first thing first, we're going to map to macro knobs. So when we are all set to DJ, we're only going to see this and we're going to control a bunch of parameters. So the first thing I want to do is I want to map my gain control macro one. And I do that by hitting the gain control, right clicking and hitting map to macro one. Uh, and it automatically shoots it down to the lowest level. So if I go ahead and play this now, it's playing that with all the effects and stuff like that. But don't worry about that for now. But also it's all the way down and we can still hear some music. See what I'm saying? So I want to map this mute button to the gain control as well. And all I have to do is hit the mute button, right click on it, and map to gain. And if I pull up my map mode, it now shows me that I've got two different um, parameters mapped to macro one. And uh, we're going to play around with that in a little bit. But let's get our other macro knobs uh, set out first. Oh, I put an EQ8 on there. Of course I did. I uh, put an EQ3 on there. That's my bad. Uh, EQ3. I'm so used to grabbing the EQ8 for my production that I've totally forgot. But anyway, come over here to gain low, map to macro 2, gain, map to macro 3, map to macro 4. Okay? And now if I pull this up, um, it can you can see that it can control these. The next thing I want to do is take the flange and put it all the way over in this corner and then right click here on the delay time and map to macro 5. And now when I play with this, it's just going to move it along this line. And that's what I'm looking for right now. And I'll show you why in a little bit. Uh, next thing, come over to the beat repeat. And I want to map the on off, which is possible. So I right click and map to macro 6. OK, and we're going to adjust these parameters in a little bit. But like I said, I just want to get all my mapping done first. And then I want to map the frequency to macro 7 and the on off to uh, the frequency, map to frequency, okay? And then fade to gray, I want to map to macro 8. Cool. So now we're going to come into map mode, and we're going to adjust the parameters so we can get it cranking the way we want it, okay? Um, first thing we're going to do is focus on um, the gain. 
Now, the gain, and if we come down here and color code it, ah, there we go, I'm focused here now. Um, if you see where it says mute, I want to pull it all the way down to 0, 0, and then I want to pull this up to just 1. And now, if it's all the way down, oh, it's still playing. So now that I have this 1 and this 0, if I right click to invert range, I also want to set the top here, I want to set this uh, max to negative 5. And the reason why I set that to negative 5 is because I never want a red line here. Uh, and if I'm on my DJ set and I'm cranking these infinity knobs, I never want to go, you know, I never want to go really high and then max out the system because it'll sound like garbage. So let's see what we got. Nothing, because it's all the way down. So our volume control is working now. And the gains, um, if I go ahead and color code these, maybe a lighter blue. And now I can see what I got. I went 0 dB for all of these. And uh, some people would want that a little higher. Some people might want it a little lower. I use infinity knobs on my APC. So um, I, I like to have it at 0. So I never go above 0 dB again because I don't want to max out my set. So now if I'm cranking out those knobs, I'm never going to peek out, okay? Um, the next thing I'm going to deal with is the time delay. And uh, cool. And also, we want to turn the flanger off when the knob is all the way down. So again, we want to map to delay time. And let's color code this orange. Come up here and again, go 0 one for the device on and as you can see I've messed up again because when it's all the way down it's on and then when I come up it goes off so right click invert range okay so now that's working uh, the beat repeat I want to adjust some parameters over here. So what I have to do is hit map mode to get out of map mode and come over here to the beat repeat and um, turn down the interval to, I don't know, a quarter note. Um, turn the INS on, which means it will not be playing the original track over the beat repeat. It will play just the beat repeat itself. Turn the decay up a little bit. That sounds pretty good. Uh, you can adjust those parameters more if you want, but what's important is the INS is on and maybe turn up the decay depending on what kind of sound you're looking for. And uh, the interval at a quarter. Um, come in here and hit map mode again. And let's color this now orange. And we'll go to beat repeat. And again, zero, zero. Let's see if this works. Okay, so now the zero or the down position is off and then the one or everything above is on. Um, let's go over to the audio auto filter and, you know, color code it again. And it says frequency, but we can click on it and rename by control R and hit um, filter. And the time delay, we can click there, control R and rename to uh, flange. You know, that might be better for you. So uh, let's see how that sounds. Right now it's totally off because it's all the way down come over here to filter uh, device on let's go down to zero again um, zero one so I want to invert range so and what I've got here is a problem because it starts with the filter um, on a low pass filter so I want to come up here to the filter frequency right click and invert range so now, look, if you can see over here on the side, when I use this, it comes off. And again, the down position is off, okay? I do that, um, I kind of make that the way it is. So if I pull this all the way down, it's off, off.
you know, flanger's off right now. Uh, oh, device on. So if I rename that, oh, what happened? Sorry. Uh, device on. So uh, that's the beat repeat. So I want to click there and rename and hit beat repeat. You know what I'm saying? So that's cool. And uh, finally, for the fade to gray, it's already good to go. So go ahead and color code that too. I have my effects one color, and I have my EQ a different color, and the gain a different color, OK? So uh, that's pretty much it. Um, let's go ahead and play around and see if I'm just using my mouse. I don't have a controller hooked up or anything. Excuse me, I'm lazy. But um, let's see if I can get anything cool sounding. I mean that's you know I'm using my mouse so that's something cool but if obviously if you've got you know these hooked up to you know different knobs you can control those much easier and much much more flexible so just uh, run through real quick the gain is the overall volume of the track and that goes all the way down to off the low is the low the mids the mids the highs the highs. Flange controls the time delay on the flanger. Beat repeat turns the beat repeat machine on or off. Filter turns the filter on and adjusts the frequency. And the fade to gray, um, to be safe, it's on zero, so it already cuts off. But if you wanted to be safe, you could, you could, you know, turn that. You could use this um, to turn it on and off, but we don't have to. And that's just fade to gray. And that's cool. So uh, go ahead and you know minimize that, and just click this little thing again pops up and just rename it, you know, DJ EQ 2.0 or whatever you want to rename it, and then you have that. All right, I'm Joshua Casper. Make sure to check out the blog, um, support the blog, you know the drill. See you guys next time.